Good day! In this video, we are going to do question 1B of the 2022 NCA Level 1 Chance and Data Paper. Without further ado, let's try to solve the problem. The table below shows the average temperatures recorded in Auckland in 2019. So we have a table of November and December less than 17 degrees between 17 and 20 and the last column is more than 20. So the question is, if one day in November and one day in December is randomly selected, find the probability that both days were more than 20 degrees. Give your answer as a fraction or decimal correct to 4dp. So without further ado, let's find what is the probability of a temperature that is more than 20, so this is more than 20, in November. So more than 20 is 3 out of 30 for November. In December, it's going to be 11 out of 31. So we have written that down, okay? So the probability that both days were more than 20, you are going to multiply these two numbers, 3 over 30 times 11 over 31, and the answer is 33 over 930, and the answer is 0 0.035, and that will give you a merit in this paper. Okay, let's go. Let's do the second part of the question. The second part of the question, can okay, I adjust the paper a while, okay? Okay, the same table. Based on this data from 2019, this data was collected in 2019, Niwa claimed that the average temperature in November 2022 and December 2022 will be similar. Let us comment on Niwa's claim, justify using statistical reason giving at least two different supporting statements. Okay, my conclusion that Niwa's claim is not valid. Why? Because the data was used based only on 2019, okay? 2019 might be a different year from any other years. It may not be a typical year and it may have been a different temperature when compared to other years. So their claim is not valid. Next, it does not specify which average was used. They say the average temperature was 2022. It did not have specify which average. It could be a median, okay? If it uses mean, okay? As the average, the result could be distorted. If you have one extreme day, which is very, very hot, the result will be distorted. Great. Next, forecasting temperature. Okay, I'm going to bring it up, okay? Forecasting the temperature in 2022 using the 2019 data could be risky because you cannot predict the future. Because the, as you know, the temperature due to global warm, warming, the temperature has been rising over the years. So the result might not be valid. In case, that case, we cannot forecast for future years. So that are the three reasons. You only require two. If you can get three of two of the reasons right, two or more, then you get a merit. So both of these questions in question one B, part one and part two, they are merit questions. So have a go at it again and see whether you can argue your case, justify your case. And if you can do that, you can do well in this paper. Hope to see you soon and I'll see you in next video which is question 2A in the future. Cheers everyone, have a good day.